Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can find out which ABS wheel speed sensor you need to replace. So if your instrument cluster is lit up like a Christmas tree, uh, because you have ABS light on, you might have traction control light on, um, you know, traction control off, and, and in this case we have RBS, which is regenerating braking system. Uh, this is a hybrid, so it, it has that as well. Um, so if you have all those lights on, there's a good chance, a very high chance you have a better ABS wheel speed sensor. But instead of replacing all of them, you need to find out which one is causing the problem. So I'll show you exactly how you can um, go into um, any car and figure out which ABS wheel speed sensor is not sending a signal. So let's go here. We have our Ucanic scanner. So on this scanner, what you want to do is you want to select your make. In this case, we're selecting Mercedes. That's what we're working on. Uh, you go manual selection. We'll go down here and select. You can do Smart VIN to automatically select the make and model. So if you go back, you can do Smart VIN. That's going to read the VIN number and left hand steering. And then go to control modules. You go to chassis. There, I want to. I go to chassis. Under chassis, you're gonna have ABS. It's not always gonna be called ABS on some cars, depending on the uh, make. Sometimes they call it ABS. Sometimes they call it ESP. Sometimes um, um, stability control. It just every make is calls this differently. Even Mercedes, in this case, since this is a hybrid, it calls it RBS, regenerating braking system. Uh, so keep in mind the name is gonna be a little bit tricky. Now, if you're not sure which one it is, you can run a full scan on the car and you're gonna see that you're gonna have full codes on that control module. But let's go to RBS because this is a little bit of an interesting case because um, it, it's not, um, it has more than one issue. And sometimes, depending on how the, uh, um, oh, depending on what's going on, then uh, you, you might have more than one code. As you can see here, we have codes that are um, current and stored and the stored codes that happened in the past those can be cleared this current and stored are, uh, are current issues right now as you can see none of them is telling us any issues about the ABS wheel speed sensors and the reason is because the sensor itself is connected is connected there's nothing no issues with the wire for the ABS wheel speed sensor but when we go to live data and then we go uh, to RPM sensors you can see left front wheel speed sensor right front so uh, you can drive the vehicle and then you can see which one of those is not going to change so if I start driving right now you'll see that the two bottom left rear and right rear are working left front and uh, right front are not working you can see those And so, you, in this case, um, you don't get a code for a faulty ABS wheel speed sensor because as far as the ABS module uh, knows, the, the wiring to the sensor is fine, the sensor is fine. The problem is that it's not actually reading any speeds from uh, both front, uh, left and right ABS wheel speed sensors. So in a case like this, it gets more tricky because when you have two sensors that are not reading, uh, there's a higher chance you have a problem with your ABS um, control module than you do with that ABS wheel speed sensor. Uh, it, it is possible that both ABS wheel speed sensors on this car have gone bad uh, both at the same time. It's not very likely, it's very unlikely but um, you, you keep it in mind. In a, in a case like this when you have two sensors that are not reading um, you, you might be replacing those two sensors and still have the same issue. So what I would recommend is replace just one from left and see um, Use a scanner to see if this reading for that the one you replace if that starts to change then you have confirmed that okay it is um, the, the sensor or the wheel hub that's that was the issue and has been addressed and you can do the next one but if you replace that one and you still don't get any readings there's a much higher chance that the ABS module is defective and maybe the circuit board inside has an issue or uh, and what you can do is you can rebuild those you just have to find a shop that can do rebuild um, instead of uh, replacing it because it does, replacing ABS um, 
control units can get pretty expensive. Uh, over a thousand dollars versus just repairing the existing units is a lot less expensive and it shouldn't need any programming. But that's it. As far as you, how you go and figure out which wheel speed sensor is faulty, you would go to diagnostics, select your make, go to chassis, and then go to um, ABS or you might say stability control or you, you might say things like in this case it says RBS and then once you go to that unit so you can see RBS once you select there now if you get no communication with the, uh, what you know is your ABS control unit then that ABS control unit is defective and then you go to live data and then R RPM sensors are um, RPM sensors and then you can see and you have the numbers on those as well. But thank you for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.